Hey, it's uh, Brian here uh, from quantlabs.net. Uh, I've talked about another previous video about reasons of, of writing or developing my own trading platform. Uh, I've talked about how to capture uh, data from a good provider like uh, IQ Feed, as well as execution and trading your executing your trading orders through uh, somebody like Interactive Brokers and um, kind of techniques on how to do that and some charting stuff as well. But that takes me into the next point which is probably as critical is your trading strategy itself, your set of rules uh, and, and how the trading decisions uh, work. Basically uh, what I'm planning to do is I'm kind of doing this uh, off the cuff meaning this is something I'm coming up with the idea of doing using trade uh, uh, sorry uh, MATLAB, Simulink, and Stateflow. <clears throat> now I'm saying this, I've said this before, uh, one of the most critical parts of a trading platform is event-based, uh, driven by the data and a set of rules. Now, there are a lot of commercial products out there called stream-based, very expensive, that's a lot how the institutions uh, use these uh, techniques to uh, get their algorithms to kick in, make trading decisions, and then execute uh, whatever order types that they're going to uh, choose. So using a stream base is, is probably out, out of reach for a lot of people. It's just very expensive, uh, a lot of stuff that goes on. There's some other tools out there as well, same thing. But for me, a good option, and I've played enough with it to say, hopefully with confidence, I can say that this, I'm hoping, will work, uh, is to use both... Uh, MATLAB Simulink, which where you can rapidly and visually build your trading model, which is very powerful. Do it through the concept of these blocks and no different than flow charting really. Um, but one of the charts is very powerful is another product called State Flow. So State Flow is very powerful as well, where you can visually build your uh, I guess computer concepts like your looping, your your if, your conditions, and put them into a chart and do it visually and be able to execute uh, other uh, decisions or execute other uh, code or whatever. So what I'm planning to do is to actually have, and I've mentioned this before, do a search on my YouTube channel at youtube.com slash quantlabs. Look up Simulink, look up uh, Stateful. You'll see all the videos that I've got there on presentation, how I'm planning to do it. Uh, and essentially what, what will happen is basically you take your inflow, obviously if you're streaming in market data from let's say IQ feed, uh, feed it through a state flow chart, have your uh, trading decisions uh, ready to go through the chart, and at the end of it, obviously, it's going to do something, maybe an order, develop the uh, hook for that order, um, and then that hook will reside in the actual primitive trading platform. And the cool thing I really like about Simulink and state flow is as long as what you're developing within that world or that ecosystem is you can quickly uh, uh, generate code from it, C or C++. Now, I, I like my C. I've said this before a million times as well. C++ is fine, but it's very complicated, uh, especially when you start applying the object-oriented uh, programming principles uh, with C, and because it's just a simple, basic programming engine or computer engine with uh, algorithms. Um, you really don't need to apply any of this extra mumbo-jumbo object-oriented stuff. It's to keep it simple, keep it readable. Um, and from there, uh, generate C, and then be able to create a DLL from that, and then have the different uh, pieces, namely, obviously, your, your piece or your component that will do the execution to, trade, uh, to interactive brokers, and at the same time, have the data flow part, which is really your in flow part or your stream from IQ feed uh, which is glued together through this Simulink state flow generated uh, model and that's a DLL. So that's my plan of action. Now that's fine for one, one, uh, for one uh, strategy but it gets kind of hairy when you start applying different strategies in different parallel but the cool thing is with state flow and I've seen this before in uh, MATLAB or MathWorks webinars, you can literally have a stateful model with literally hundreds or even thousands of these strategies and models and training rules. They're, they get massive. So you could go that route. Another way to do it is to basically build 
uh, independent machines, I guess you could say, uh, that are self-contained with uh, the logic to uh, capture the data, uh, go through the trading model strategy, and then execute. And you have that as an independent process in one uh, program, I guess, or component. And you can have multiple of those uh, only for profitable trading strategies that you're going to put into production. Now, talking to a lot of people, most most operations are usually at the most, from what I've gathered, are usually usually three strategies, and that's it. And these are multi-million dollar operations. So that's another way to do it, and it's doable. Um, I'm planning to go through the TWS route with Interactive Brokers, tra Trader Workstation. It's easy to work with. There's some limitations with it, but when you're just starting out, it's fine. Uh, and I'm planning to do that. And that TWS client software can support up to eight connections. So you can have up to eight strategies. And as I said, there's only three that are mostly used in most multi-million dollar operations. So I don't see myself going beyond eight. I just don't see it. And even if I did, it would get very complex trying to monitor that and manage it. Uh, and I'd have, I would think I'd have to be a pretty big operation to get to that point. And even if I was at that point, uh, I would be probably using the IB gateway instead of the TWS for execution. Or I might even have a better broker. Who knows? Um, and uh, the other cool thing about Simulink is if I want to go ultra, ultra, ultra low latency, you can do that too by generating your HDL code for FPGA uh, deployment. Now, FPGA is the ultimate lowest latency bar none. Um, and Simulink allows you to generate the HDL code from that. So your, your same models can easily be ported into either C, C++, or HDL for FPGA deployment. That's a very cool uh, concept, um, and I'm probably the only guy that's actually publicizing about it. So I'm a smart guy. Yeah. Talk to you later.